Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Matthew and today we're doing another figure comparison. Today we're doing a figure comparison uh, between the Playmates Godzilla 2014 City Destruction Battle version and the Bandai Creation Bandai America Godzilla 2014 12-inch version. I know this is a very weird comparison, but since I don't own the original 6-inch 2014, I'm using this 12 inch, so let's go ahead and start off. We're gonna be doing another seven rounder with this. Sculpt and paint, articulation, size, accessories, price, availability, and packaging. So let's go ahead and get on with it. First, let's start off with sculpt and paint, which, wow, these two are similar to a, a degree. So these are obviously not the same molds, but they are very similar designed molds. What, I what am I talking about? Well, let's go ahead and see. The overall detailing on, <clears throat> we're actually going to start with the, uh, start with this guy first. The detailing is very great. Honestly, it is very great. The head sculpt actually has a lot of, like, intricate little bumps and details that I failed to actually mention in my original reviews. But you can actually, like, see that there's a lot of different, like, little cracks and crevices and bumps on the skin. And, of course, we have the little beady slit eyes. Obviously, they look a little derped when you look at it from the front, but that's okay. Individually painted teeth, and with a dark red tongue in there. And as for the detail inside the mouth, it's a bit on the more basic side. <clears throat> Don't really get a whole lot of uh, paint, aside from the tongue and teeth. But I mean, that's really, uh, really good. That's fine by me, honestly. The little sides of the head, they were sculpted really well with like the nice ridges and the gills. It honestly looks great. And honestly, from... From the neck downwards to actually just to the tip of the tail is like pure, pure like sand, almost like brown, almost like mustard yellow. If that's the right, right type uh type of color I'm thinking of, but for what's here is really well done. Um, the detailing here is a bit on the more basic side because it, they're just diamond shaped uh, scales. They look more like Ghidorah scales rather than Godzilla scales, and that carries on to certain parts of the body. For example, here, and a bit down here, and it does kind of make it feel like they kind of skipped out and gave a more basic detailing, but, I mean, it's not nothing bad. The arms, however, they're done really well. Again, no paint, but... um. A big gripe I think I have is the fact that the arms are in a neutral stance. Like, they're fundamentally, according to the sculpt at least, supposed to be like resting in a little bit like this. So you can't really make him like grab anything. And he's permanently stuck looking in the air. And I know that's another issue with Playmates, but we'll get to that in a sec. Coming on down to the uh, legs themselves here. Actually, let's go back to the arms. The arms, again, detailed very well. Doesn't really have the best stance as far as arms go, but again, they look rather nice. Nice detailing and nice, not, nothing really sculpted or dry brushing. Same with the legs, although they are very beefy, I should say. Like, this is, these are some thick legs. Um, but the detailing, again, it's nice for what it is. It's nothing, like, too complex, especially for the vinyl. Something that I find interesting is that how the both... I'll get to this again in a, just a sec, but both the Playmates and the uh, Bandai both feature the same exact foot. Look at that. Like, that is straight up the same foot. Now, am I inherently saying that Playmates stole from Bandai again? No. That's an, its own mold. This, however, is definitely going to be the most interesting part of the figure. Why? The tail. For some reason... Bandai loves to keep curling in their tails. Now, I know, it's because to save on shelf space, but do they not understand that you could just peg this in? Like, literally, just design, just do what Playmates did years later. Just untach it out of the box and make it, like, straight up, maybe curl it in a little bit, but not like this. I get it, you may, might want to make it whip a little bit, but, I mean, for what's here, it's not bad, and I definitely think that this curl could work for something it just doesn't work for the godzilla figure that we would want you know this is beefy and everything but the tail oops, the tail curling in while he's looking upward just doesn't make a whole lot of sense and especially because he's in a more resting position there's really no reason why the tail would be curling i know it's a kid's like 
stop knocking over. There, that ought to do it. So, um, yeah, this figure, it's great in the um, the uh, sculpt department. Paint is rather basic. The most paint you're going to get on this is a solid dry, uh, dry um, not dry brushing, charcoal gray type color across the body. Kind of a limited type color of mustard yellow on his abdomen where it meets to the tip of the tail. Where it's actually rounded for some reason. And all the paint's going to be found more towards the face with the eyes, teeth, and tongue. So, honestly, that's the sculpting paint for the Bandai. Next, we're going to take a look at the Playmates, which, unlike the Bandai, actually takes a somewhat different approach. So, let's go ahead and approach it. The overall head mold on the Playmates, it's a bit on the iffy side. Uh, the overall, at least, look of it looks nice. The big orange eyes are a nice addition, and I think look better than the ones that they did on 2021's Godzilla's. And they look really great. The teeth are painted kind of simplistic, but at least they're applied a lot better than, again, that of the Playmates, which um, I'm actually going to grab right off the uh, shelf just for comparison's sake. There you go. Um, just to, like, show you guys, the teeth application just looks a lot better on the new one than it does the, the older one, which is weird to say that the newer Godzilla is the older one of the two. I know they might look the same, but trust me, this guy's application is whack sometimes. So, I'm putting you back up on there. Um, the overall, at least, presentation of the figure, that's where we get into a bit of a different route. They decide to go for the poster design rather than the actual in-movie design as far as, like, paint goes. Because that's why he's all caked in orange. He's not burning Godzilla. He's just covered in fire, if that makes any sort of sense, uh, yeah, as I spit all over the place. The um, overall, like, design of the body looks great. Uh, it's actually blue, which I find interesting. It's blue. And something I also find really good is how the overall orange is actually applied. Because from here to here, it's all orange. At least with, like, a subtle gradation of black. In the front area, it's all orange. And, obviously, to the shoulders, you get a tiny bit of orange uh, spray. My big complaint, however, comes in the form of the tail. Um, actually, we're going to wait. Oh, hold on for that. Um, but I do have to mention that the build quality is a bit on the cheap side. I mean, come on. They could do better than this. What is the problem? Well, the, the leg is not supposed to shift like this. That's not really good quality. Also, the battle damage piece... It looks alright. I mean, it's nothing as good as the originals were, but I'll, I'll still take it, you know? It doesn't look... I think that's, like, my biggest complaint about the battle damage is that, aside from the Kong and, debatably, Godzilla, it never looks organic. It never looks like someone actually scratched or tore off a piece of flesh. I know there's kids' toys, but creations were also kids' toys. Where did we fall? So... Because of its blue wash, I would say that this one has the more unique look. But aside from that, who do I think wins round one? I think it's obviously safe to say that the... I would say the Creations wins by a smidge. Why? Because while I do like the more orange spray, I feel like people are going to be also wanting a bit more movie accuracy. And the detailing on the Creations is much more consistent while you have mellow detail on the main body, mellow detail-ish on the thighs, but insane amount of details on the head, arms, and feet? No do. So overall, the creations wins round one.